This is CNC World, a new perspective. The Dutch are proud of coming up with innovative ideas, and well-developed ideas can often bring a successful business. A journey through the human body in the Corpus Museum is one such example. This huge human statue can be seen far away from the highway. It's not just there for decoration, but rather the essence of Corpus Museum, where you can travel through the statue of the human body from the feet to the brain. Henry Remmers founded Corpus about five years ago, and today it's one of the few Dutch museums that can stand on its own and generate a profit. Uh, I, I get the idea that's uh, about 14, 14 years, maybe 15 years ago, in the United States, you have an uh, exhibition was there, and there was a mother, an exhibit, and she was pregnant. And the visitors had a communication with the baby in the belly of the mother. And the people say always to the mother, you look nice, and what is it, a girl or a boy? And so this communication starts. And I think, hey, that's a really interesting thing, because the human body is a unique mechanism. So I was thinking about that unique mechanism, we are the owner of it, you know, you are the owner of your body. And so how is that working actually? And how can we show that to, to young people and older people? So that you know how it is working, so that you take care a little bit better about your own body. So this confrontation I would like to make, and that's the start of thinking corpus. It takes 55 minutes to walk through the Corpus Museum, which also holds other educational and entertaining activities at the Medical Interaction Center. According to Remmers, since its opening in March 2008, Corpus has attracted more than one million visitors. Many children come with school field trips for the first time and want to experience the excitement again. It's Jan's second time in Corpus. Though he found the cycling test in the interaction center most interesting, he did learn a lot about the human body from the guided journey. I find it is very interesting. I am interested in the human body. It is all about how the human body works. We saw the kidney. We knew how precise the functioning of the brain and how you can smell. However, a creative idea alone doesn't make a successful business. Being a smart entrepreneur, Remmers has created a good composition with all the resources. If you're thinking about the human body, you have to think in two ways. How interested can we make it for the visitors? And how commercial can we make it? Because you have to survive, which is an idea. So this combination was, uh, uh, was a very good combination because uh, the body is for everybody interested. And healthy life is for everybody interested and more exercise is for everybody interested. Also, uh, good nutrition is very important. So this, this elements uh, is the basic of the, of the concept. And we put these elements in the corpus uh, journey. And uh, yeah, this is very simple, it sounds very simple, but you have to, the, the most difficult thing part is how can we communicate with people who don't know anything about medical things and medical backgrounds. Even you are the owner of a very high medical body. Now Group 30 is having their tour. Visitors are approaching the mouth. Here you can see the teeth, the gums, the tongue, the uvula, and every other component inside the mouth. You can touch them and feel the texture of different parts, as well as the humidity inside the mouth. A ticket to Corpus costs around 17 euros. But ticket sales are not the only financial resources that keep Corpus running. Aside from being a tourist attraction, Corpus also serves organic food in their restaurant and holds meetings and conferences, most of which are medical related. In addition, there are many other partners on board, ranging from healthcare companies, the water industry, research institutes, to government ministries, in order to provide Corpus with extra financial support. Corpus's success is quite unique under the influence of the economic crisis. Many Dutch museums have to cut their budget due to the shrinking government subsidies, and some of them have to shut down or survive with hindered programs. We are, I think, one of the, the, the museums who is making uh, their profit and survive very well. And, and maybe it is the system, the way how we 
uh, communicate with the visitors. Uh, there's a lot to do, there's a lot of interactive things to do. We have no subsidies from the government. We're working with, uh, actually with sales of tickets, our merchandising, our restaurants and our founding fathers. They are a very important part of our income to survive with purpose. It is okay, it works very well. And yeah, that's, it, we work like that, so let's say that. I think it's very difficult for other museums, but they have to try maybe. Corpus is also planning to develop overseas to China and North America. This is CNC World, a new perspective.